it's eight o'clock. Now, most of us know Auckland is the largest Polynesian city in the world, with 70% of Aotearoa's Pacific population calling the 09 city home. It also has a deep and rich Pacific history, with some of Auckland's earliest Pacifica migrants are settling in Ponsonby, Greyland, and of course the surrounding areas. So working hard to keep this history and knowledge alive is our next guest, and of course his brother who for the past 15 years have been developing an intimate tour of Auckland's Karangaha. Road. So joining us now to have this Tala Noa is none other than Reverend Moore Strix and Poor. With that, I say Malori Sufun. Welcome to the show. Welcome, and also thank you so much. And you're so correct uh, that when we talk about uh, the Pacific urban history, and we use the word Pacific urban because that gives us a time slot of that it's post World War II, it's just after World War II, it's the 1940s. 50s, and then that amazing migration of our Pacific peoples from Cook Island, New Ware, Tukalao, Tuvalu, Fiji, and so on, coming here uh, to create their new lives in Aotearoa. Absolutely. Uh, Reverend, you know, it is an honour to have you on the show this morning. I must say, you yourself there and your, and your brother Sophie, for the last sort of 15 years, how you've been able to develop this sort of intimate tour, you know, of Auckland's Cave Road. Uh, you know, I know what's talking about passing the history on, but what's the purpose really for yourself and the reasoning behind why you even started this? Uh, we originally started this, uh, Sophie Ulumia Pua, my baby brother, but the visionary, uh, the man with the heart for our parents' generation. And so we were wanting to honour and celebrate mum and dad's passing many, many years ago in 1987. And so mm. he came up with, come on, bro. Um, let's honour mum and dad by tell their stories, uh, but we'll take a group to share the stories. And what we discovered as we told the stories of our beautiful Samoan parents, we discovered a healing, we discovered a, a time of being able to do healing, and also we began to realise what a blessing it is as Pacific people who love their parents, to honour their parents, that we recognise that for the group it became uh, a process whereby our Pacifica people could also realize, you know, it's okay to mourn, it's okay to enjoy your stories, it's okay to remember, you know, the dead and that they live with us and that your ancestors mm -hmm. are with you and that we have great stories of hope, great stories of sacrifice, great stories of our humble beginnings in that village, that nation, and that we did not forget and that our history feeds us, inspires us, reminds us that we're in the biggest Pacific Island city in the world, but guess what? We're still that village boy, that village girl. We're still that um, humble person trying to figure out what is our calling and how do we honour Pacific people, in turn, honour the family of humanity. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, yeah, absolutely true there, Reverend. You know, I think I, you know, I know I grew up in the era, I remember many times coming through to Malta Samoa House, you know, going to Myers Park, um, and just the areas around Ponsonby and Cave Road, but are there some pivotal points, though, in our Pacific urban history, you know, that a lot of our generation don't actually know about? Oh, I think... Uh... There, there's a lot of markers there. I think there's a, you know, like a, in the early 40s and 50s, um, Bay Road was really important for the social scene. Uh, so a lot mm. of our people had never had money and alcohol. And so for the first time, our young men are very strong men, physical men. And so uh, they're a bit wild there, you know. Um, and so for the PIC church of that time, uh, the amazing um, Reverend Sior, um, having to go to the pubs uh, to ask the men, you know, because the wives had come to church to talk to Reverend Sior that the husbands had spent the money on the alcohol. Uh, and I don't mean to use negative story, but it's just the way it was that our people were adjusting to a new life. And so the minister goes to the pub, and then the minister gets uh, called out by uh, these drunk islanders. And then they get a shock when the minister uh, basically gives them the one-two move. And, um, and then from then on, uh, the pubs knew, go to PIC church, get the minister if there's any problems. The mothers mm -hmm. knew that if they weren't getting their money or they were getting too much rough treatment, 
go see the ministers. And so what we had there is a social commentary about economics, changing times, but also how adaptive the church had to be. I think also, too, it's not about saying bad, bad people. That's Mm. a story, you know, and I think also, too, you know, that, you know, uh, one of the stories, it starts from cutting a happy road. Reverend Seor went and collected the men from the pubs on Saturday. He gave them one beer. Then he told them, guess what, everyone? We're going to play cricket for the Grafton Cricket Club. And then they all <laughs> went down. And uh, there's a bit of history here, people. Surprise, surprise. Those islanders won the social cricket competition. There's these beautiful photos of the 60s of these beautiful brown men with the four Barlangi members of the club and then this proud trophy. And it's the story of where, you know, um, those parents uh, took on games that's not their game. Uh, Those men uh, did what young men would do. You need sports. You need team things. You need, you know, fellowship. And then the other way to look at Karanga Happy Road, it used to be a dangerous road, but yet it also had that where you went to look for your cousins. That's where you went to tell everyone you're, you're in New Zealand. That's where you went to do the gathering. That's where you did the shopping. But it was so important to see your cousins, to tell them you're okay, uh, to find out if you need a job, to find out if you need a house to sleep, find out you're A-OK, and then they can report back to Samoa, to New Way, to Cook Island, that you're doing OK. Uh, Riven, uh, you know, at K Road, of course, as most of us know it, uh, Karanga Happy Road, you know, the deep history that comes with it. I think as we wrap up there, I'd love to know just the importance for you to be able to pass down our Pacifica history and knowledge to the next generation. What is the importance there? Uh, the importance is that You are important. You're valuable. Your stories are so important. It is a link to your past and to your identity. It is another way of doing the healing. It is another way of feeding our people. And it's about feeding your spirit, your culture, your politics. It's about being the whole Pacifican person. And it's an I, me connected to we, us. It's about why we are unique Pacificans, why we have a unique history, and why we contribute to all the histories. And that's why we celebrate who you are by remembering the stories. When you don't tell the stories, there's no one there. But when you tell Mm. the story, people will remember. And don't forget, we're Pacifican. We tell it loud, and we do loud laughter. <laughs> that is so true. And look, with that, uh, Reverend, I really appreciate your time this morning. And eh? just to share a little bit of insight, uh, where can people actually, if you can just let us know, anywhere where they can know where they can get in touch with you to be able to be part of, I suppose, this tour that they would want to take? Um, Sophie set up a, a Facebook page, uh, the Poor Brothers, and you can get in contact with us. You know, and I mean, for example, I've just been with my niece in Wellington. She's doing her year 13 dawn raids assignment. And then that's Mm. the other thing I love is university students. I've had university students from America, from uh, UCLA, um, from Hawaii, you know, wanting to know our stories, uh, wanting to be able to do their university training and just to encourage you with your schoolwork and please look after your parents. Mm. No, I love that. Reverend, thank you again for your time this morning. Really appreciate it. We'll grab those links and then we'll put it up on this interview so people can get in touch with you guys uh, to do a possible tour. But again, fifth day today, love it for your time this morning. Blessings.